So one of the new features in Revit 2025 is the ability to control the wrapping of wall finishes on individual walls within the viewport. So to do this, I'll first create a new wall. So clicking on the wall tool here and looking at the wall type, if we edit its properties here, we can see that the wrapping for the finishes is switched on both for inserts and at the end of the wall. So this means that when we draw this wall in, we can see that at each end of the wall, the actual finish wraps around to encase the structure of the wall. And that's the correct behavior, so we wouldn't want the structure exposed if the wall's just finishing here. And then when we join this wall onto an existing wall, then that wall join controls exactly what happens here. So we can see the core going through and meeting and the finishes stopping and actually joining in here. However, in certain occasions, we don't actually want these walls to join. We just need to butt them up to each other. So if this was an existing wall, or if we needed to make sure that this finish ran all the way through, maybe for fire or sound deadening. And to do that, we'd select the wall and then just right click over the control at the end and then disallow the join at this end of the wall. And then we just need to drag that back to the face so that it actually joins the wall. It butts up to the wall, but doesn't actually join with it anymore. But obviously now we can see that we've got that finish wrapped around here. So in Revit 2025, if I now select the wall, we can see we have an extra couple of controls here. And just clicking on one of these will disallow the wrapping at that end of the wall. But obviously it's still enabled at this end, giving us the finishes that we need when the wall just ends, but also giving us the right condition when the wall joins the existing wall. So having those two new controls makes it a lot easier for us to go around and just pick individual walls and control exactly how they work. And saves us a lot of time from having to create different wall types to be used in different situations.